and this is part two. Right, I'm going to try and upload this later, but if you're seeing this independently of part one, my name is Stephen J. Humphrey, independent candidate for Bournemouth East, within the next five months when we get a general election here in the UK. Now, now I finished part one by saying united we stand and divided we fell. Now, it goes against democracy for me to say what I'm about to say, right? But if we are going to unite against the global establishment that want to you, you, to elect one of their puppets into office, like Gordon Brown is a puppet, right? Then ignore what I'm just about to say, right? But I've got to say this, that... And it's awfully selfish of me to say it, I know it is. But if you're going to get someone like me, a truth seeker, an oath keeper, because I am still under the, the command of the oath that I gave Her Majesty the Queen in the army. I am an ex-serviceman. Now, OK, it, 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 even though I only served 72 days in Her Majesty's Armed Forces, right? I am still subject to the Official Secrets Act. I am still subject to my oath to Her Majesty the Queen, right? As a serviceman. And now I've been discharged from that service, right? Does not alter the fact that I am still a British subject serving Her Majesty the Queen, right? Now what I want to say is... There's going to be at least four candidates at, at, here in Bournemouth East. Now you have to decide which one of those four candidates you're going to vote for. Are you going to vote for Tory? Are you going to vote for Lib Dem? Are you going to vote for Labour? Or are you going to vote for me? Because come hell or high water, I am going to get myself elected to Parliament. Because if we don't, you think the Patriot Act is bad in America. You think Homeland Security is bad, right? You think the Terrorism Act is bad. You think uh, all, all the, the, the serious organised crimes are bad. Well, if you don't vote for someone like me, in preference to one of the establishment candidates, like Tobias Elwood, David Stokes, and probably Lisa North over at the, over at the Lib Dems, right? David Stokes is Labour. Tobias is hardcore fucking Tory, right? If you don't vote for someone like me, you're going to get screwed. And I must demand that you stand behind independent candidates, wherever they stand for election. It doesn't matter if they're blind. It doesn't matter if, if they are not the best candidate on the, on the paper. But if we have 30 or 40 candidates in a general election, you're going to split the vote between all 30 and 40 candidates. And then you'll end up with the establishment back in power. And I can't allow that to happen because they are in support of traitors. They are committing war crimes simply by voting in favour of the Iraq war, as 400 of them did, what was it, six, seven years ago. Now, you have to understand this. You have to pick a candidate and you have to 100% vote for him. Right? You cannot vote Tory. You cannot vote Labour. You cannot vote Lib Dem. You, and I hate to say it, but you cannot even vote the Green Party. Any establishment character is off your voting list. You cannot vote for him. Now, there are exceptions to the rule. Ron Paul is a Republican. I'd vote for him if I was American. I'd vote for Kucinich, Kucinich if I was American. And I, I, if I lived in Hackney, I'd probably vote Dave, uh, Diane Abbott. Right? Because they're working on the inside of the system to change it. Right? Now, uh, this is a short one. I'm just going to finish this off. If we don't vote for our, as our conscience demands and that does not mean vote any of the Lib Lab con fraudsters because they are committing fraud by pretending to be your representative in Parliament because I have submitted the claims to the European Ombudsman 
to Gordon Brown himself saying that he is a traitor and uh, uh, they should be in jail like Hitler's fucking pets were like the generals were in Nuremberg like 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 the, the, the Stasi were in their truth and reconciliation trials simply to get to the truth of the matter is Gordon Brown a war criminal is David Cameron a war criminal for supporting the war in Iraq? Uh, uh, and I hate to say it, but are my former colleagues in the British Army, are they acting as traitors by following orders? Now, the Nuremberg defence was that we were only following orders. That was found to be unlawful. If you're in the services, if you're in the hospitals and you're given an order that is not in your best interest as a British citizen, you have the right to deny that order. And then you get arrested, you go to court-martial, and then you say in the court-martial why you did not like that order. You have the duty and the obligation as a British citizen to stand up for the law. Now, the law says that you cannot declare war on another country. The treaty in 1929 precludes it, prohibits it, and then various uh, legislation subsequent, various treaties afterwards, says that you cannot declare war on another country. And don't believe the hype about the UN resolutions. The UN resolutions did not give the coalition forces permission to invade Iraq, did not give them permission to invade Afghanistan or Yemen or Somalia or, or anywhere like that. Now, Ron Paul said it very eloquently in, in, in my rage against the sanctions and rich machine. Right? There's a playlist on YouTube. Just go rage against the machine and you'll find it. All right? he, he said that sanctions against another country like Iran is a war crime. Is a declaration of war. Uh, and you're not allowed, as a country, to declare war on another country. It is unlawful. It is breaches every single international treaty there is. So, you cannot believe the hype. The war in Iraq is Ill illegal. The, the war in Afghanistan is a war crime. A million Arabs have died as a direct result of CIA perpetration of war crimes as a direct result of Obama. Obama is just continuing the Bush administration's policy. So even though Obama is a de Democrat, it proves that he's actually in league with the Republicans. They're working on the same mission. And they're breaking every single law that they can find. Every single law. They, d they have no respect for the law. And there was George Bush Sr. saying that it was the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, that governs political behaviour. The rule of law, not the rule of, ju of the jungle. And yet his son said, right, fuck that. I don't give a fuck about the rule of law. I'm going to use the rule law of jungle. The law of jungle says that you're bigger, stronger, tougher... You get the dinner. In this case, you've got the tanks, you've got the bombs, you've got the aircraft, you've got the money, you've got the support of the alleged support of the people, or you can falsify the, the support of the people, and you can blow up whatever you like. Well, you can't. You're not allowed to blow up whatever you like. Hundreds of millions of people are at risk. Now, you can call me a warm, uh, you know, pacifist if you like, but this is the law. The rule of law shall rule rather than the, the law of the jungle. Oh, come off it, people. Well, this is the 21st century and we're killing people through guns and bombs. Why? Now, luckily, we've got a general election here in the UK coming up real soon. And the quicker we can get these idiots out of power, 
the puppets out of power, the quicker we can have good justice. Right, so, so we've got to stand united behind independent de-establishment characters like me. Right, the, the extreme radicals in British political life uh, who, who don't support violence in any shape or form unless it's justifiable self-defence. Now, uh, now, how the hell can sending in helicopter gunships be called justifiable self-defence against, against civilians carrying AK-47s? It can't. Anyway, my name is Stephen J. Humphrey, independent candidate at last at the forthcoming general election. Now vote for me or we will die divided champ.